Hey, my darlings, let's do some math together. Lesson 27, session four, page 631 in your math books. Please open up right now and get a pencil so you can get your work done with me. Um, on page 631 at the top, it says complete the example then solve problems one through four. 10 blue marbles and 19 green marbles. This is the example. 10 blue, 19 green. How many marbles in all? In all is your word clue. That means we are adding. So it says, um, what they did is they drew a picture of 10 and then 19, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And they broke it down. They said 10 plus 10, look at that. I just did it right there. 10 plus 10 equals 20. Then it says 20 plus those ones left over, which we know are nine is 29. And then that must mean that 10 plus 19 is also 29. And there are 29 marbles. Number one, find 52 plus 20. So these you can, um, this one, it's, it just has a blank space. So you can do whichever strategy works best for you. I think the harder one is going to be the one with the number bond. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to solve it using that and the other strategies. So here they put the number with the ones in front. Um, yesterday it was in the back, but we're still gonna break it out. We're gonna break 52 into 52. And then we, so then it becomes 50 plus 20 plus two. Well, I'm gonna add in my, and if you notice what I did, I put it from greatest to smallest in order. I could have done 50 plus two plus 20 because that's how it goes. But I put it from biggest to smallest because it's, it's easier to add that way. Plus now I have my tens together and my one is off on its own. So now I can add 50 plus 20, which is 70. So then it becomes the two drops down and it becomes 70 plus two, which is 72. You could also draw it, which is one, two, three, four, five, one, two, plus two more, one, two, five, six, seven, one, two, two. So either one helps you. This one might be like, oh my gosh, what is Miss William doing? But I feel confident in that you will get it because you guys have been working so hard and I'm so proud of you. So keep going and keep trying. Number two, 20 black cars and 32 white cars. What is the total number of cars? So it has um, 20 black cars plus 32. So then it breaks down 32 and we know we're gonna pull those tens out. There's 30 and two, 30 plus two is 32. That's what you're gonna put in that number bond. So then it just says 20 plus 32. We're gonna add 20 plus 30, which makes 50. We added these together and it gets us to 50. 50 plus two is 52. So 20 plus 32 is 52. You may know these, you may automatically be able to see, oh, 20 plus 32 is 52. Awesome, good for you. Work on the strategy, all right? Practice breaking those numbers apart and adding them together. It's just going to make your brain so much bigger and stronger. And it'll make math easier for you to understand when you get into bigger, harder things in second, third, and so on. All right, number three, 29 small ants and 30 big ants. How many ants are there? What is wrong? So, um, it's first question was how many ants are there? So I'm going to figure out how many ants there truly are. Then I can figure out what the book did wrong. So the book says 20 plus nine plus three equals 32. So in order to figure out what they did wrong, I need to know what is the correct answer. So again, they put the one with the ones in the front to try to trick you. 
don't let them trick you. Pull out those tens, 20 and nine equals 29. So now it becomes 20 plus nine plus 30. Flip it to everything in the front is easier. 30 plus 20 plus nine. 30 plus 20 is 50. The nine drops down. It is now 59. Hmm. If I wanted to double check that, I could. I could say, okay, 29 plus 30. Put a box around the tens. Two plus three is five. Nine plus zero, underline the ones, is nine. Yep, it's 59. So now I have to figure out what did the book do wrong? It says 20 plus nine plus three. Hmm. Let's see, 20 plus nine plus 30. Oh, so they have it as three ones. Um, it should be 30, not three. So if you have it as a three and it should be a 30, you're gonna miss 27 a lot of ants. So you need to make sure you get those right. So the book had it as three and it should have been 30, right? 30 plus 20 plus nine, 30 plus 20 plus nine, they got it wrong. Number four, 25 blue blutter, blue blutter flies, blue butterflies are flying along. 25 blue and 50 brown. 25 and 50. How many butterflies in all? So I'm gonna break this out. In all is your word clue, 20 plus five. So 20, 50 plus 20 plus five. 50 plus 20 is 70. 70 plus five is 75. There you have it. Whew, this is fun, but I hope I'm not going too fast. Um, and if I am, feel free to rewind, watch again, ask me in the session, ask your teacher if you have another teacher besides Mrs. Flam, and um, he will, she will be happy to help you to make sure that you really truly understand. Okay, so then page 633 and page 634, those are your practice pages, and the first one is 10 plus 37. So this is where we're going back to where we were. So break it out, 37. And the book says 10 plus 30 is 40. See these, they get added up together. So you're breaking apart 37 into friendlier numbers. That's the whole reason why you're doing that. Then you have to add those ones back in. 40 plus seven is 47. Don't mind my funky four. So 10 plus 37 is 47. Um, good, and you can even draw it if you want. Um, I can't tell if the book drew it for you, but if they didn't, always feel free to draw out these so you have a better understanding of what's going on. 42 plus 20, 40 and two. So 40 plus 20 equals 60. 60 plus two equals 62. So 42 plus 20 is 62. All right, just a few more, my darlings, and you are all done with this lesson, with this session, not with the lesson. 18 yellow leaves and 80 red. 80 plus 18. They're looking for the number bond. So this is gonna be 10 and eight, which means 10 plus eight is 90. Eight plus 90 is 98. Okay, we just skipped a step there. It says 18 plus 80 is 98. So I did 18 breaks down into 10 and eight. 10 plus eight, 80 is 90. So I drew the nine there. Then I had these eight left over and I just put them up there, so it's 98. Number four, 34 big rocks and 50 small rocks. 
34 gets broken into 30 and 4. So 50 plus 30 is 80. Add that 4, it's 84. So all we're doing is we're taking out that step. So hopefully you're able to see that. And um, the most important part, I think, is making sure that you get the number bond right, because then you know what to add to the 50. And then you can just put the four in the ones place. Ruby picks 20 apples. Kim picks 35 apples. How many apples altogether? 35 plus 20. 35 breaks down into 30 and five. So it's 30 plus 20 plus five. 30 plus 20 is 50 plus five is 55. So there's 55 apples. All right, great job, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow. It's Friday. Um, yeah, it's actually Friday. You have five lessons to do this week in four days. So we've been a little bit off schedule with our days, but that's okay. All that matters is that you're understanding the math and you're able to do it um, and you're starting to get it. All right, love you guys. See you later.